going on, everybody out there? This is Popular Stranger, and we are back at you again today with another Madden 25 Ultimate Team video. In today's video, we're going to be giving you guys some budget beasts. We're going to go through every single position for your Mutt 25 squad and give you one player under 150,000 coins. Now, I don't know if 150k is considered budget to a lot of you watching this video. It is to me, but I think that's going to be the best price point and under where you're going to find usable cards that can actually help you save you some coin and make you win some more games. Games. So let's go ahead and jump right on into it. We're going to start at the quarterback position. I wanted to pick Matthew Stafford really, really bad, and he fits right under the price point that we're looking for. But those long audibles when you're trying to hot route with him and the fact that he like has 67 speed, I just simply could not do it. He's definitely going to be more accurate than this core elite Lamar Jackson. But at the end of the day, you're getting that 81 speed, 82 throw power. All of the accuracies are fairly close to that 80 aside from the deep throw accuracy but you do have strategy items and i believe one of them came from the game from pre-ordering to boost that deep throw accuracy into the 80s so then you got short throw 81 mid 80 and deep throw 80 it hits all of that 80 plus threshold there and again having the speed and you know minimal throw power with lamar makes him the best option under 150k at quarterback he on average goes for about 104,000 coins. At running back, we got Raheem Mostert. Pretty much all of the 85 overall ultimate preseason cards are right around 150K now. So Mostert's one of the fastest running backs in the game and also under that price point. He's actually 150K right on the dot, but you get the 85 speed. He gets the good spin move that a lot of people are using. 87 break tackle, 84 change of direction, 84 agility. His catch rating, his trucking, not great, but the spin move is the best ball carrier move in the game right now that plus the speed and the price point on this card is going to be the best budget running back in the game at fullback if you're interested we're not going to spend too much time on this one but it's season of boom cj ham he goes for 150k on the dot for fullbacks prior uh, primarily you're looking for speed awareness run block lead block He's pretty much good in all of those things. So if you need a fullback, you can also use the season one field pass. Mike Allstop, but if you want to spend some coin, CJ Ham is your best budget option. At wide receiver, I got two cards for you. The first one is going to be ultimate preseason Amari Cooper. Now we're starting to see a lot of wide receivers get 87 speed so 85 is going to become extinct pretty soon but i still think this is a really good card i only got rid of him just this week and i've used him up for you know from the release date up until wednesday when team of the week came out he's six foot one 85 speed 80 catching but he never really dropped many footballs for me so i wouldn't worry about it 83 short route running 83 mid and 87 deep I just think you can put him anywhere on the field. He can be a slot receiver, just a very versatile and good card for early in the year. And he, on average, right now is about 143,000 coins. One other wide receiver we'll throw in the mix is a brand new card that came out yesterday. Campus hero, Brian Thomas Jr., only at an 83 overall, but he's got 86 speed. He's six foot three. He hits the, th the thresholds for route running, that 80 plus threshold, uh, 80 short, 80 mid, 81 deep, 82 catch. Really, really good budget option, and he's only 79,000 coins. At tight end, your best budget option is going to be core elite Mark Andrew, six foot five with 83 speed, 82 catching, 81 catch and traffic, and spec catch. The route running is very good, 85 short, 83 mid. Run block, not so much, 63. As time goes on, George Kittle will probably end up being like the next best budget option at tight end. Still a little bit expensive, but as we get more cards at this position, and I mean this goes for any position in the game, you'll start to see more of those better 84 overall core elites or just the top tier core elites come down in price a little bit more. But for now, you can find this market. Mark Andrews for about 120,000 coins. Let's talk offensive line. We're going to go directly from the left tackle all the way to the right tackle. These baby legend cards, there's a handful of them that you're going to see in this video, starting with Willie Rolfe. These are really good cards that aren't very expensive. So you got 83 overall left tackle, 85 strength, 82 awareness, 82 pass block, 81 run block and he goes for about 90k on average. When it comes to offensive linemen, those are the four primary attributes that I'm paying attention to. Strength, awareness, pass block, run block. And at this point, you're gonna wanna try to get at least those four attributes on any of your offensive linemen. 
in the 80s. Unfortunately, there's just not a lot of good left guards out there. The best one at left guard is going to be Lander, Landon Dickerson. Uh, 81 speed, 81 pass block. Let me try that again. 78 strength, 81 awareness, 81 pass block, 82 run block. And also pay attention to the weight on these players and the height. Uh, he's 332 pounds, 6 foot 6 on average, going for about 70,000 coins. At center, we have Jake Brendel, 6 foot 4, 299 pounds. This is a team builder card, and you can earn one of these 82 overall team builders for free if you haven't done it yet by playing your team builder solo challenges. You earn a fantasy pack really quickly that lets you pick one of 32 cards, and this is one of the better ones out there. 82 strength, 81 awareness, 82 pass block and 83 run block if you're going to purchase him on average he's going for about 58,000 coins at right guard another campus hero card at 83 overall we have elijah vera tucker 84 strength 81 awareness 82 pass block and 83 run block. Remember, when you finish up your Campus Hero field pass, you get your choice between a lower overall non-BND Campus Hero card or an 83 plus BND Campus Hero card. This is actually the card that I got out of it. So if you're on a budget and you happen to get this one at the end of the field pass, it's not a bad card. But if you're going to buy them, about 75,000 coins. And at right tackle, we have Core Elite Trent Brown, 370 pounds, 82 strength, 81 awareness, 80 pass block, and 81 run block. His average price currently is 55,000 coins. Now over to the defense. On the defensive line, left end, J.J. Watt, another baby mini legend here. 82 overall with 76 speed, 81 acceleration, 84 strength, 80 block shed, 80 power move, and 72 finesse move. When it comes to defensive ends or just pass rushers in general, we're always paying attention to the speed, the acceleration, the strength and then the block shed power move finesse move which i like to refer to as the big three but this jj watt's going to get two of those big three attributes in the 80s and he goes for about 68,000 coins on the opposite side at right end you got core elite cam hayward he's not very fast and if you want to you can move him to defensive tackle 70 speed 71 acceleration but everything else is pretty good 84 strength 83 tackle 83 play rec 84 block shed 84 power move the finesse move is atrocious but for a core elite to have a bunch of attributes in the 84s. It was kind of rare. And at the defensive line, this is a good one. On average, his price point is about 77,000 coins. In the middle of your defensive line, this was one of my favorite core elites to start the year out. He's now one of my favorite budget cards at defensive tackle. We got 82 overall, Vita Vea, only 62 speed. His acceleration is awful, but take a look at that strength on an 82 overall card, 86 strength, 82 tackle, 83 block shed, 82 power move, play rack at 80. His finesse move is not very good, but you can't expect good finesse move from a 347 pound defensive tackle. Everything else really solid on this card. He goes for about 59,000 coins on average. For outside linebackers, I couldn't really find any good like user or pass coverage type guys so we really focused on more pass rushers you got core elite ray sean gary 82 overall with 75 speed 79 acceleration 79 strength 82 block shed 83 power move 74 finesse move also has 82 tackle he only he only costs about forty one thousand coins on average at right outside linebacker we got 84 overall core elite josh heinz allen 81 speed 80 acceleration 80 block shed only 73 strength, 83 finesse move, and 74 power move. Again, picking, you know, the options to choose from weren't very vast when it came to the outside linebackers. This card for 134K, he fits the budget, but I think that's a little bit too much to pay. I would look elsewhere or just stick with what you have until a better option comes along that's also, you know, less expensive, but... This, you know, with the criteria, this is the best outside linebacker, right outside linebacker under 150K. For middle linebackers, we're focusing on guys who you can use or control. Uh, we look for speed, height, acceleration, change of direction, agility. So we got six foot four campus hero Quay Walker, 85 speed. Uh, this card, not very expensive. He goes for 41, I'm sorry, not 41, 77,000 coins. But he also has a gold card out there, like a 78 overall, that I think has 84 speed and pretty good hit power as well that's probably going to be like 10,000 coins but you know this one for what else you're going to get here again 85 speed 88 acceleration 83 tackle 83 hit power 75 block sheds not great uh, only 64 zone if you're going to go with this card you need to make sure that he's your user 100% of the time you do not want to trust him in coverage with the AI controlling him and your other option at middle linebacker is going to be team builder Jack Campbell 6 foot 5 with 84 speed 89 acceleration he only has 
76 block shed, 57 zone coverage. He does add in an 81 tackle and 82 hit power. And on average, this card is going for about 63,000 coins. You may be wondering, where is Divine Diablo again? I also pay attention to the agility and the change of direction, and both Campbell and Quay Walker have better agility and change of direction compared to that Divine Diablo card. At cornerbacks, we have another baby mini legend here in Antonio Cromartie, 82 overall card with 84 speed, 83 acceleration. Uh, his zone coverage is terrible at 76, so you only want to pick up this card if you run a man coverage scheme exclusively. He gives you the 80 press and 81 man coverage. You can find him on the auction house for about 83,000 coins. If you play more zone, you're going to want to take a look at Core Elite Tariq Woolen. Hopefully you can find him. This card's a bit tough to find on the auction house, but if you can, he ranges anywhere from about 15 to 20,000 coins. Six foot four, 84 speed, 80 zone coverage, 82 acceleration, 81 jumping. I've gone against this card a handful of times, and he very he usually plays very well against me. So for that price, you just literally can't beat it. At free safety, we got Earl Thomas, his mini legend, 83 overall, 85 speed. He is only five foot ten, uh, but he gives you 86 acceleration, 82 hit power, 81 zone. The rest of the attributes not great, but for a zone cover safety and for the low price point of 85,000 coins, I think he can give you some good production on the opposite side. Side. You got Ronnie Harrison Jr., another team builder card. Again, another card that you could get for free if you wanted to, if you haven't played through those solo challenges. This card's pretty versatile because you can play him as a box safety, a sub linebacker, or you can play him in coverage. 84 speed at 6'3", 85 acceleration, uh, only 74 tackle, 81 play rex good. Don't put him in man coverage often with the 77 man. He does have 83 hit power and 82 zone coverage. And we also got to talk about special teams. So at kicker and punter, I was probably Primarily just, primarily just looking for kick power and under that 150k budget the best option is going to be Jake Elliott at kicker with the 83 kick power and 79 kick accuracy now just one thing to note with this card he on average goes for about 75,000 coins because he's an 83 if you can find his quick sell card his core his platinum card that quick sells for 77k a lot of times you can find that version of him for like 85 to 90,000 coins if so you're looking at you know any Anywhere between an eight and thirteen thousand coin rental for a pretty good kicker, one of the best kickers in the game. And the same thing's going to go at punter. If you can find Ryan Stonehouse, you know, in the low to mid 80,000 coin range for the platinum card only, again, that's the one with the coin images on it. His non platinum card usually goes for about 78K, but an 83 overall platinum card quick sells for 77K. So if you can find him in that mid uh, 80,000 coin range, you got yourself a really good rental until you're ready to upgrade your punter. And he has 80 kick accuracy and 83 kick power. And there you have. It. Those are the best cards in the game right now, under 150,000 coins at every single position. Let me know what budget items you're rocking on your squad. Leave it down below in the comment section. And thank you for watching. My name is Popular Stranger. I'm out. Peace.